Norway underwater floating tunnels. Western Norway's steep, cold mountains and deep fjords are recognized for their stunning beauty, but they also make driving challenging. With seven ferries along the route, the almost 700-mile journey between Kristiansand in the south and Trondheim in the north takes around 21 hours at an average speed of 30 miles per hour. But this might soon change. The Norwegian government is planning a $40 billion infrastructure project to replace ferries with bridges, conventional tunnels, and maybe the world's first floating tunnel. The underwater roadway, which is simply a pair of concrete tubes sunk approximately 100 feet below the water's surface, would help cut the travel time between Kristiansand and Trondheim in half while reducing the area's environmental effect. The floating tunnel is buoyant, but it does not truly float. The tubes would be stabilized by cables attached to the bottom or pontoons floating on the surface at approximately 800-foot intervals. According to Ariana Minaretti, head engineer for the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, the tunnel would not interfere with the passage of ships, boats, or even submarines because the majority of the gear would be well below the surface. Transpod Hyperloop Transpod launches Flux Jet, the world's first vehicle for ultra-high-speed transportation over 1,000 km per hour based on groundbreaking innovations in propulsion and fossil fuel-free clean energy systems. The Flux Jet is an all-electric vehicle that is effectively a hybrid between an airplane and a train, featuring technological leaps in contactless power transfer and a new field of physics called surveillance flow. Flux Jet is faster than a jet and faster than a high-speed train. It travels three times faster on a protected guideway at over 1,000 km per hour. Bellwether Eftel Bellwether Industries has built and flown a version prototype of its stunning Vola EVTOL, preparing to publish the images. The most progressive futuristic design we've ever seen is a flying hypercar for a utopia that even science fiction dares not dream of. The lines are elegant, even sensual. The profile is razor sharp. It has a curved shark-like ribcage. The thick V of the tail fins resembles a fighter plane. Bellwether seems eager to sell this as a dedicated aircraft for urban travel, but EVTOL, comms Jen Nevins tells us the final design will have four to five seats, with the addition making it around 3.2 meters, 10.5 feet, wide told. The team also said it was aiming for top speeds around 220 kilometers per hour, 135 miles per hour, and an enduring of 60 to 90 minutes. Apparently, the final vehicle also features a one-hour battery and a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kilograms, 1,320 pounds, including everyone. So in 2028, when Bellwether says it wants to market this thing for the price of a private jet, you and your passengers better start dieting now to be ready to fly. Space Perspective Space Perspective aims to bring its passengers to the sky with a balloon, bringing a new perspective to space tourism journeys planned to be carried out with rockets. Attached to a hydrogen-filled balloon, the capsule Neptune is covered with 360-degree glass and can accommodate eight people. Inside the capsule there is a bar, toilet and Wi-Fi connection. The balloon rises at 20 km per hour, hangs at the highest point it can reach for two hours, and then begins to descend. The capsule is expected to land on a ship deployed in the Atlantic Ocean. Space Perspective plans to start commercial operations in 2024 at the latest, and the price of a ticket is estimated to be approximately $125,000. Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Beyond the megatrends of sustainability, digitalization, and individuality, Airbus' presentation of its Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus revealed a number of intriguing insights into the company's future plans for the passenger experience and its aircraft. These proposals expand on prior cabin concepts, such as the 2011-era concept Cabin 2050 and 2019's Airspace Cabin Vision 2030, and demonstrate how a sequence of building blocks toward a new cabin may operate. Airbus has utilized this building block metaphor well when explaining the technologies and enablers for its future airframe and fuel strategy, therefore it is worth noting that it is also employed here within the cabin, albeit with a slightly different nomenclature. Flying Train This innovative approach has promising implications for the future of public transportation. With a capacity of 1,000 to 2,000 passengers and a cruising speed of 500 km per hour, it has the potential to reduce congestion and improve travel efficiency. Additionally, the constant power supply connected to the ground provides advantages over battery-powered alternatives. 
However, significant difficulties remain, including technological feasibility, regulatory compliance, and economic sustainability. Building and sustaining a big structure requires innovative engineering solutions, as well as negotiating regulatory frameworks and justifying expenses. Despite its challenges, the multi-story flying train offers an exciting insight into the future of transportation systems, creating optimism for a more sustainable and efficient future. Fermat Belt Fixed Link. The infrastructural project in Europe is compelling. The tunnel is about 18 kilometers long and connects Denmark and Germany. It is submerged. The direct land connection between Scandinavia and Central Europe will improve transportation for both passengers and freight. This project significantly decreases travel time, increases transit capacity, and provides a dependable alternative to ferry crossings. Technical specifications include 79 precast concrete components that build a tunnel with a double-track railway and a four-lane motorway. Construction began in 2019 and is projected to be completed by 2029. Despite hurdles such as complicated construction and environmental issues, this project has the potential to support regional economic development. Flying Hotels The idea of a nuclear-powered Sky Hotel Sky Cruise's futuristic look and sumptuous features are captivating, yet it is only an idea. Tony Homestead created a concept for a massive airplane capable of carrying 500,000 passengers and powered by 20 nuclear fusion engines, providing sustainable energy. The facility, designed to resemble a luxury cruise ship, has restaurants, bars, shops, pools, theaters, and a chapel. Panoramic decks provide spectacular earth views. There are several issues to consider, including safety problems with nuclear reactors, unknown fusion technology, expensive costs, and regulatory challenges in aviation. Despite these challenges, the concept of a nuclear-powered sky hotel remains intriguing, promising luxurious and sustainable air travel in the future. Urban Air Mobility Systems Small electric aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing are being used to relieve urban congestion and provide more efficient travel choices than traditional ground transportation. UUM includes electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, passenger drones, and cargo drones, each with distinct benefits. Passenger and freight drones offer convenient and eco-friendly transportation solutions, while electric vehicles minimize noise and increase efficiency. UUM systems provide benefits including decreased traffic congestion, shorter travel times, increased accessibility, and lower emissions. To promote wider implementation of UUM systems in metropolitan areas, obstacles such as safety, regulatory frameworks, public acceptance, and infrastructure development need to be solved. Alakai Sky. Alakai Technologies has introduced Sky, the world's first hydrogen fuel cell-powered air transportation system, which is ready to transform the way people move. Sky is prepared to become one of the world's safest, cleanest, and most secure cars, thanks to its attractive, uncluttered design, highly easy and safe electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, and fuel supply, which is a completely hydrogen fuel cell-powered system. The most diverse air mobility options. Sky's heart, and one of its most groundbreaking characteristics, is the utilization of hydrogen fuel cells, which provide a completely pure environmental solution. Sky's hydrogen fuel cells have the benefit of being 95% reused and the remaining, 99%, recyclable, resulting in a reliable, safe, and environmentally clean emission of just heat and water. This is a dramatic contrast to typical fuel and battery sources. Sky can travel longer distances with hydrogen fuel cells and carry a larger payload. Virgin Hyperloop. Virgin Hyperloop illustrates how its 670 miles per hour, 1070 km per hour pods function. Virgin Hyperloop has published a video demonstrating how its pods would connect cities at 670 miles per hour. The business, which has previously conducted passenger tests, employs electric propulsion and electromagnetic levitation under near vacuum conditions to create a new type of transportation that is quicker, safer, cheaper, and more sustainable than traditional modes. Virgin Hyperloop, a component of Richard Branson's Virgin Empire, aims to establish a new mode of transportation that can match the speed of aviation travel and provide more chances for mass transit. Future Fire Truck Historically, fire vehicles have been mostly red with flashing lights, bells, whistles, and sirens. At first glance, it may appear that fire vehicles have not evolved. 
Most member companies of the Fire Apparatus Manufacturers Association Pharma can testify that vehicles have advanced technologically due to innovations and changes in standards, such as the National Fire Protection Association's NFPA 1901 standard for automotive fire apparatus and government regulations. Have you considered the potential future appearance and capabilities of fire trucks? The development of self-driving cars has sparked regulatory debate. Consider whether a fire vehicle can function autonomously. Monaco 2050. Instead of building a boat with a helicopter deck or storage for a seaplane, what if the yacht could turn into one? This is what Russian designer Vasily Kluykin envisioned for his Monaco 2050 luxury boat idea, which can turn into a jet plane. The design has a streamlined superstructure that seems to be one single piece, with expanded overhangs and a glass enclosure on top. The jet plane then detaches and rises from the superstructure of the yacht, similar to a Harrier jump jet or an F-35 fighter plane. The upper deck is part of the yacht and an independent aircraft at the same time, Kliukin explained, according to CNN. If required, it will climb higher using the screws implanted in the wings to become a helicopter. Starship Super Heavy Earth to Earth the idea of deploying a Starship for Earth-bound travel is an exciting vision for transportation. Elon Musk has proposed using SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy launch system for rapid point-to-point -point transportation, highlighting its potential to transform space travel. This approach presents fascinating possibilities, such as ultra-fast direct flights high passenger capacity with possible environmental advantages, however, considerable difficulties, including technological feasibility, economic sustainability, safety issues, and regulatory frameworks, must be addressed before it can become reality. The Starship and Super Heavy are currently in development. BMW Motorrad Spirit Concept Motorrad has expanded beyond its status as a successful BMW subsidiary. It has now reached the point where it is an inspiration. The concept behind the project is fairly basic. Obviously, it's a motorbike designed to foster a synergy between humans and machines. However, doing so in practice has proven tough. Unlike most other motorbike designs we've seen, the skeleton structure here isn't simply for display. It has a specific purpose that is critical to the vehicle's handling. This frame is designed in such a way that, believe it or not, when you ride the Spirit, it will flex or contract to assist you in turning. If you've kept up with the times, you'll know that something like this does exist. And, best of all, it's from the original Motorrad. Skateboard. For the first time, a firm producing revolutionary electric vehicles with a patented and extremely adaptable skateboard chassis for personal and commercial usage has published a video demonstrating the performance of its self-contained skateboard platform. Canoe turned its skateboard into a cabin-free scatter car for this film, and professional racing driver Sarah Price evaluated the platform's capabilities, which will serve as the foundation for all canoe vehicles. The skateboard offers twin, front, or rear motor combinations, with dual motors capable of producing up to 500 horsepower and more than 300 miles of range. The rear main unit is capable of producing up to 300 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque, while the front unit can produce up to 200 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. The motor's efficiency is targeted for urban driving settings, with a max of 97%. Mansori Supercar Concept If flying vehicles ever make their way into the mainstream, Mansori is prepared to tune them. The German tuner, known for giving premium automobiles dramatic makeovers, released images of a coupe with an aggressive-looking body package, a pair of tiny wings, and retractable wheels. Mansori emphasizes that its Empower idea is not a true representation of an impending production vehicle. It admits that no one can say for sure what the automobile of the future will look like, and that whether it flies, floats, or drives underground, purchases would always desire personalization choices. Having said that, the firm has not provided technical specs for the design study. It's a coupe with the fundamental dimensions of a vehicle, a mid-mounted engine, and a few stylistic elements reminiscent of Lotus and Bugatti. The rest is just Mansori. The proposal has a front splitter, vents built into the hood, a roof-mounted scoop that flows into a fin, and a two-piece rear spoiler. Several little wings probably keep the Empower steady when flying, and there's a massive diffuser out back. Most of these add-ons are composed of carbon fiber. If you're weary of flying, you may use the four wheels to propel the Empower on the ground. Renault Claire Garbage Truck the notion of robotics like commercial trucks are designed for independent waste collection in suburban and rural locations. 
The vehicle is entirely driverless and connects with the operator's automobile. The commercial vehicle's design was influenced by Renault's classic trucks and vans, as well as new elements in the brand's DNA. The commercial vehicles and garbage collection load have a modular container with front and rear doors, two levels, and the capacity for 40 robotic waste boxes. Garbage boxes are connected to the flooring with guide rails to avoid falling during transportation. 